Sprinkling. Good morning, everybody, and welcome into the St. John's County Show that's on in the morning. Hope you are actually doing great this morning. Woohoo! Yeah! No, I'm still waking up, man. Oh, I'm really? Still, yeah, I'm still waking up. I don't know. I could not wake up well this morning. Chug a lug. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ate a lot of ice cream with the gauzes last night. Oh, yes. Yes. Well, that's got to be nice. Yeah. Wow. It was. So I'm, I'm blaming my lack of sleep on them. Of course. <laughs> of course. Didn't they have an anniversary? <coughs> yes, 24 right? years. Yeah, that's what right. many but yeah. Denise, I give her yeah. so much credit. Yeah. yeah. Whew. Lovely the anniversary. Human being. Denise. Yes. She made so many special touches at that Jimmy Jam banquet. Did you see the the name plaques that she made us? Yes. So yeah. cool. And I she might, did the cups. Take it on my fridge. She yeah, did the yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, the glasses? Yeah, I got it right here. Have the glasses? I've got um, one in my car. Nice. I should probably take the one out of my car. I mean, yeah. Amanda grabbed mine for, my, for me because... And wash them. Mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here's yours. <laughs> this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, very nice. They're just great people, man. Yeah. Love hanging out with them. Um, so, let's see. We got stuff to talk about today. Oh, we are 5,000 and 0 when it comes to making fun of fugitives and them being caught. The very yep. same day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. it's ju it's just I don't know if it's good luck. Right. I don't know what it is. When we go unhinged. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> when we go unhinged, people respond. Right. People, they move. People last night said, uh, "Loved your show." Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, we said a lot of bad words. Was like, no, but it was those just kids totally deserved that. Yeah. Honest. Yeah. 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 So we'll talk about that. The city worker or the former city worker has spoken about it to the news. Mm -hmm. We've got Knights of Lights. They're cutting back on Knights of Lights still. They're going forward with cutting back on Knights of Lights. So we'll talk about that. I heard about that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just seems like the city loves to be anti-business these days. I don't know why, because that's all that exists in downtown St. Augustine or business. They have some real reasons, they said. <clears throat> okay. Love to hear that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got a St. John's County group that aims, aims to gauge the need for mental health. Hint, it's needed. I can tell you that. I don't even have to read the story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, today's a great day. Brave Summit is today. That's Shout right. out to Jennifer yeah, yeah. Wills. Go Brave get him, Tiger. Yes. yes. Biggest one ever. 1,600. It registered already. I'm so proud of her. Yeah. That's awesome yeah. and important. And we'll talk about the social media ban. Oh, I do want to talk about this. Okay. All right. Very good. There we go. We'll get into all that and more. Maybe more. Hmm. Probably more. Uh, when I tell you about uh, our friends at Bozard Ford Lincoln, that's how we kick off the show, and they've kicked off their 75th year. This, are we coming up on 76? 76 coming 76. up. Coming up on yep. 70. Jeez, these are flying by. I know. Can't keep track. All these years. Family business out there by I-95 and State Road 16. Great place. Great vehicles. Beautiful, beautiful vehicles. Some of those Lincolns and, of course, the Fords, but, boy, those Lincolns are amazing. Smooth ride. It's like being in an airplane. Yeah. Good analogy. Maybe it's not a good analogy. We're going to go with it being good. It's, Everything's it's good It's like being in a luxurious... Well, I don't know. Everything you're doing is right. <laughs> <laughs> now. Oh, they are beautiful vehicles. They've got a huge inventory of uh, new and pre-owned Fords, Lincolns, and, uh, and all, many makes of vehicles in the pre-owned department. they got the state-of-the-art service department, the quick lane for express service and parts, and... Don't forget about uh, Ford's Garage, mm. where you can enjoy a great signature burger and a whole lot more. Great food and beer and drinks. They got it all. From delivery of your new car in your very own driveway to mobile service for your fleet of company vehicles and anything in between, Bozard Ford Lincoln is ready to meet your needs in a way that's designed exclusively for you. Let their family take care of your family. They're Bozard Ford Lincoln, and they're driven to inspire. Also, big shout-out to Fidus Roofing, Great Expectations Realty and Auction, Chiba Hut Toasted Sub, St. Augie's Pizza, BHF Insurance, Griffin Service, Elace, Med Spa, Chris Lucero, Bail Bonds, and BNS Signs, who we'll talk about in a little while. First, officially, good morning, guys. How's it going so far? Hey, ha oh, it's my weekend. It is your weekend. It's your last it's day. Hour. It is yeah, Wednesday. It's yeah. Wednesday hump day. It is my weekend. I'm excited. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Where yeah. are you going again? I am going to the British Virgin Islands. Ooh. I'm going to the island of Anagata. Oh, didn't they make a song about that? Mm, different different island. That's a different Anagata Davida. That's a different there, one. But yeah. this one's Anagata. There's only 200 people 
on the island. I'll be very, oh, very okay. secluded. Oh, oh that's how nice. Fun music uh, video like, documentary hour. Yeah, I love it. I like seclusion. Secluded. Davey, how you doing this morning? Man, I am holding on for a prayer today. I'm getting it done, but okay. there's some being I'm being tested a lot. Oh boy. But don't Already. worry. Yes. Already. Already. <laughs> That's not a good eight. start. I'm to not the worried day. about it. I have the receipts for my testimony. I can go to okay. bed tonight. So okay. yes. Mm-hmm. AM. But just Ooh, watch out today. I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wow. Rude. Clay, how's it going in the booth? Good. Good. I'm getting there. All right. Clay. Sorry if I well. smell like weed. I know you had the big show last night. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. It's How probably, was it? It's probably, it was, you got to take a while awesome. to wear off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Did like you have fun? Contact high. Uh, um, yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. That guitar. Do you guys see that guitar that he had? <laughs> it was like a giant pot leaf. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> really, just playing into that one song they had. <laughs> yeah, actually, he had a couple. Oh, okay. I forgot about. I forgot about. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. What was another one we forgot about from Afro Man? Well, he had, because I got high, he had Cole 45, and there was some more. I forget the names, but. Okay. Yeah. And they had to have Colt 45 for him last night, yeah, correct? Yeah, he made, like, part of his rider is the bar has to sell Colt 45s. Oh, That's wow. So everybody had, wow. like, 32 ounces. That's kind of annoying, right? Somebody kind of annoying. dropped one. Yeah, it was like glass everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the reason don't we don't be. sell those. Exactly. <laughs> There's lots of reasons we don't sell those. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Love when artists try and be business people too. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, right. many of them should leave the business to their business associates. Business it was like that's he, why they have business managers. It was yeah. like he never changed. You know, it was like you know, most rappers you see them nowadays or, or old artists they'll they'll just be like off the. Off their game or whatever, but he was just still Afro. He was man. still spitting okay. lyrics. Yeah, came in smoking a blunt. Hip. Okay, <laughs> came in smoking a blunt. All right, God bless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not mad with it if you, get, if you can get away with it. Sure, he get, he's making a living off one song because well, I got high. So is he making a living if he's playing? If it's big I mean, venue? if his light bill is still on, he's making a living in my book. Mm-hmm. I think I you know. So. All I need is one hit, and I got it. Yeah. Probably some cameo in there. Maybe some yeah. OnlyFans. Maybe something he's actually talented at. Speaking about one hit, my Nora Jones yesterday that booked me two gigs. Two gigs. Two gigs. Two gigs. Two gigs. Thirty nine yeah. called and said they're having the uh, can't. Sing Out Loud Festival Series. I'm a headliner. And let me guess, the other one was FSDB. <laughs> no, it's Kelly. She said when they renew their vows, that's her wedding song, and I can come and do that for them. Oh, so, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, man. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. You got yeah. more gigs this year than Afro Man. Finally. I don't know why I'm going in so hard on Afro Man. I'm trending. I yeah. did like that song when I was younger. Did you? Sure. Everybody did. Yeah, I, I didn't care for it. Okay. No. <laughs> I wasn't that young when it came right. out. So. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you were like, why are my employees always singing this high song and never showing up to work? <laughs> but why is that playing in the background when I when they call in sick? Right. <laughs> right. Remember when we had to make like the ringtones on your on your voicemail and we would have like music playing in the oh, background? Yeah, like, yeah, sure. Hey, this is Pete. And you've got goes like yeah. ah, in the background. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Moving on. Quick check of the weather, Troy. Nice. That quick check of the weather brought to you by Great Expectations Realty and Auction. They can sell your home, your business, and everything in it. Check them out at geauction.com and gerealty.us. Question of the day. Oh, oh and wait, question. We got, wait. we got traffic report. We do, but did we do question of the day? We haven't done question of the day. No. Oh, okay. So we got to do that before we get to the traffic report. See, I'm Jeez. on vacation. My bad. Working. Right. Um, when is the last time you slept outside, either in a tent, on a hammock, or outside overnight? Not like taking a nap. Okay. I think I've... Davey's staring me down. Are you kidding me? I've... <laughs> Davey with the camera look, with yeah. the Jim Halpert. Okay. I'm ready uh, for this question. I think the last time I slept outside was because I got high. Um, (laughs) (laughs) At least you're on it. Going going back to the song. I think I've told this story once on air before, but uh, we had uh, a friend of mine and I decided we were just going to sleep outside one night. We're just going to find a place to sleep outside one night. Because that's and the decisions you make at that point. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. So we tried downtown, but there was nowhere to sleep downtown. We ended up at uh, a condominium complex and slept outside by the pool until the mosquitoes got us. And then we went inside to the gym and woke up at five in the morning to the lady working out at the gym. 
Oh. How dare her? Being like, what are these dudes sleeping in the gym for? But she still continued to work out to her credit. Good for her. Yeah, you guys didn't scare her off. No, well, we didn't look like scary individuals. We just looked like high individuals. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's like, been there. Yeah, done that. <laughs> that's, why yeah. Working, yeah. that's why I'm working out now. <laughs> right. I learned, I learned my lesson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Motivation. She's like, yes. Yes. Yeah. Never going back Don't there again. Back in my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that was a long time ago, man. That was, that was probably 20 years ago. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay, so compromise, guys. Like, does does like losing power from the hurricane does that count? Did you no. actually sleep outside though? Or did I, you there was a roof over the, my. Did you sleep with the door? But I had open. no power, no air, no if no you filter. Slept on the porch, I'll accept it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you gotta skip me. I'm thinking. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is you may have never. No, Dad slept took us camping like oh, okay. when I was like five, which was okay. what, you know, yeah. Well, so that's your I think that's your answer. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. I think, I think Thank that's you. your answer. For the sake of this show we'll move forward thank you clay <laughs> um probably halloween was the last time halloween halloween oh, so that pretty was pretty recent yeah recent. Yeah. yeah that's right because remember he had the the what was it called the hammock, the the hammock, hammock thing yeah. yeah yeah my hammock camping set up and then I, I took a nap on the beach the other day so yeah hmm. oh. okay you're Play very, very outdoorsy, outdoorsy. yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, so, yeah. I fall asleep on the porch quite a bit. So. <laughs> <I don't laughs> Does count, that really count, I count as like taking a nap on I the porch? I don't count taking a nap on the okay. porch. Okay. So um, I think the last time I went, and, and the reason I asked is because I am going glamping uh, this week. Uh, it was the last time I was in uh, the BVI. So last year when I was on the sailing, I slept on the on the deck of the boat. Oh, so bring uh, bugs, Brad. out on the out on the hammock. Well, the breeze is so nice. I there. know. Not that many you might be okay. Huh. So, All right. So I, out there on the water, the breeze is pretty good. So. Okay. So so my mine was on the boat uh, the last year about this time. All right. Good for you. Yeah. Good so, for so you. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like Clay's the, the most recent. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. It was like four days too. Yeah. Wow. How were the bugs? I had a bug net. Oh, okay. right. jeez, prepared. All right, camping with Steve. Yeah, you go. <laughs> All right, man. I'm sure people are going to have some good answers out there in the comments. I hope. I hope. It's now time for a quick check of the traffic. Back to Clay. <laughs> That's right. So we got another time lapse. Time today. lapse. Okay. So no I, poop on the windshield this no, time. No, I clean the poop. That's great. Clean the poop. Um, <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it's not terrible. It's just kind of meh. Looks meh. kind of foggy. It yeah. does look a little. It was a little foggy when I was coming in, yeah. It wasn't foggy for you guys? It cleared, no, it cleared up. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it was foggy. It was like a high. Yeah. Maybe, maybe <laughs> the Afro-Man was still in town this morning. <laughs> Smoking up the Someone whole city. Left a joint in my car, I guess. Can he? Where's Can <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Other than I, this car cuts me off right here. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can't see when it's going this fast. Oh. Uh, well, what a jerk. Ah. Uh, yeah. We're looking for you, car. We're going to make fun of you now that yeah. you get caught by the police. Caught the other guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> That's how it works. We have an unusual method of bringing people to justice. <laughs> oh, uh, right. smooth sailing. And that light was red again. Oh, uh, it's always red. Always. always freaking red. All right, good deal. Very nice sound down on the, out on the roads this morning, it looks like. It's an okay ride for me coming in, so there you go. Yeah, it wasn't too right. bad. Traffic wasn't terrible. When, when, I, when I went to Chick-fil-A this morning, I did get cut off by somebody. Really? Ugh. Were they polite about it? Sometimes oh, they are. Oh, no, they were in a white van. I mean, they... You know, it, it looked very sketchy. White jeans, white van. We're out. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I gave them the whole, I gave them the whole, like. Yo, you did the, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then, the, you know, it, it was like uh, Pennywise turned around and looked at me. I was like, oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By a literal clown in a white van. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you got a bless and release. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's calmer than what I usually do in traffic. Mm, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, and I, I, that's, that's my go-to move now where I don't do the other, the wave with one finger thing. I yeah. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But I think it has the same result. I know? think so too. Yeah. It yeah. makes them equally as angry. <laughs> Does the finger really do anything? Yeah. 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 
No, that one really sets back in the me. day. That, one, it that was. one really sets me off. When Does it really? Me off. Yeah, okay. it's like a cool yeah. thing now to pose in pictures and do that. Like that's like an acceptable like motion to do in a picture. Yeah, if that's gonna be my new move. Numbskull. Forget the finger point. Yeah, man, that's it's it. The, so cool. <laughs> it's gonna be the middle finger. Yeah, middle finger point. No, it won't be. <laughs> that traffic report brought to you from Elace Med Spa. There we go. Very nice. Looking for a, a relaxing and rejuvenating experience? Look no further than Elace Med Spa, formerly Amara Med Spa. At Elace, they will provide their clients with a range of luxurious spa treatments and advanced medical aesthetics procedures. Whether you're looking to unwind with a hydrofacial or enhance your natural beauty with Botox, dermal fillers, contouring, laser treatments, hair removal, all that good stuff, they got it. Their expert staff will work with you to develop a personalized treatment plan tailored to your unique needs and goals. You have high standards, and so do they. It's beauty on your terms. It's elace.com. All right. St. Augustine Business is pushing back as the city limits nights of lights dates. City of St. Augustine Commission has made a significant decision regarding the annual Knights of Light celebration, a beloved tradition that attracts numerous visitors to the city, but also strains its residents, they say. Does it strain the residents? We just avoid downtown, period. Right, that's not strange. Strain the residents. That sounds like a line from the you city. It's going to strain the residents when businesses stop. Yeah. Guess what's going to strain? Like your a... taxes are going to go up. They don't like us celebrating anything, I feel. That's how I feel. Like, they don't like celebration. I'm celebrating because the city of St. Augustine is finally listening to me and cutting back on tourism. It took me all this long, oh. but the city of St. Augustine is finally saying, don't come to downtown for any reason. Wow. We don't want you at the Florida Man Games. We don't want you at Nights of Lights. We don't want you at festivals. Forget we it. We don't want people here. You don't live downtown, so hush your pie hole. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who pays all the bills? Uh, the businesses. Yeah, yeah. It's a 4-0 vote. I wonder who wasn't there. Mm. For a vote, uh, the commission approved the setting approved setting the celebrations dates from the Saturday before Thanksgiving through the last week of January. Oh, okay. They that's, did move that. So that's things. that's not that's not terrible because then we got race week in February. We're good. Race so week what did will they fill change? It up. Isn't that what it was? I, it, I, I I thought they at one time they went all the way to February, but this year they just went to January. So it's no different what they did this year. Well, this is January 25th and 26th will be the cutoff date. Mm -hmm. oh, two days. So that's the last weekend. Yeah, that's the In last. January. Okay. That's apparently the last weekend. So, so we're they're only, doing it just the last weekend. Yeah, we're only we're only talking a couple of days. Instead of going, no, to Troy's the, is suddenly not mad anymore. Uh, well, it, I mean, it doesn't cost me as much money. Well, <laughs> the same thing as this year. <laughs> as much money. Yeah. yeah right. This year they cut it off soon. It didn't even change yeah. anything this year. I mean. People kept coming. Yeah. And they're still coming. Yeah. yeah. And we left our lights on. So. But is that something that's going to residually Did subside? Yeah. yeah. Will we that left. eventually change, you think, in the, in tourism? That they'll, like, they'll notice that it's going to be the last weekend and they'll stop coming on, you know, even after? Um, no. Think? People look at those dates. They look and see, yeah. is, are the lights still on? And that's the last weekend. And the last weekend's very busy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, that last weekend's going to be very busy. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, cause they know the lights are going to get turned off mm. and a lot of the closer people don't go downtown until after Christmas. So when's the Saturday before Thanksgiving? Checking. Um, didn't it, what, didn't it used to be November 1st or was it not November 1st? No, no, no. It was, it's, or it's December. November 20. Uh, Thanksgiving's always the fourth Thursday. No, I mean, nights of lights turning on. It's usually like around the 19th. Okay. Uh, 18th, 19th. Somewhere, right. somewhere in that range, because that's when I do my big fundraiser at the government house. Okay. Thanksgiving 2024 so. is, oh, it's late this year, November 28th. November mm. 28th is, yeah. is Thanksgiving. So that means the 30th is that Saturday that you're talking about. Mm, well, I do, it, I do it the Saturday before. That's oh, when so they, 23rd. They turn, they turn it on the Saturday before Got Thanksgiving. It. So it'll, it'll be on the 23rd when they'll come on. Okay. So. Uh, they say it's not a drastic change, but the decision uh, will trim a few days off downtown displays uh, in some years. Previously, the celebration typically extended through January 31st and occasionally into the first weekend of February, depending on mm -hmm. 
the week when January 31st fell. Under the new resolution, the duration of the event will be shortened. For example, in 2024-2025 seasons, the last weekend for display will be 25th and 26th, resulting in a slight reduction of the traditional time frame. Mm-hmm. The move has raised concerns among some business owners in St. Augustine who rely heavily on the revenue generated during Nights of Lights. Uh, the owner of Country Carriages emphasized that there's a uh, that the event is significant for her business. Well, yeah, doing the carriages downtown, sure. Um, The folks who uh, run the tasting tours noted that 40% of their revenue comes from the 10-week period spanning mid-November through January. Despite the concerns, commissioners emphasize the need to address the strain on residents caused by the influx of, caused by you guys' decisions for the last 20 years. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Um, Commissioner Barbara Blonder acknowledged the pushback from businesses in the community, but emphasized the support from residents uh, who welcome a reduction in the event's duration. Commissioner Cynthia Garris echoed the sentiment, emphasizing the importance of prioritizing residents' well-being amid St. Augustine's popularity in as a tourist destination. We're cutting back on tourism, guys. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Feels good. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, Troy. We did it. Yay. Yay. We did it, Troy. Nope. <laughs> I'm building more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. So, Nights of Lights. Locals don't even like Nights of Lights anyway. They're all white lights. It's no, just I, boring to me. I, I wish they had you, some color in the you, flash. If you work downtown... You night you light nights of lights. Yeah. Cause I mean it it is where the money's at. That's yeah. Where, that's where yeah. I mean if you're a server downtown, you like nights of lights. Yeah. You mm-hmm. dread Hell Week. Yeah. But you are cashing those checks. You like the money. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Not if you don't work on tips. No. Uh, well no yeah, no. <laughs> that's a good point. If you yeah. don't work on tips, well you really hate it. <laughs> All right. Oh, here's a little bit of a follow up from yesterday. We talked about the punk ass kids. Which will forever be there, how they will be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Former City St. Augustine worker who was beaten by a group of teens calling for more security downtown. A former City of St. Augustine worker experienced a terrifying ordeal while on the job, transitioning from trash cleanup to a violent assault. Video footage obtained from the St. Augustine Police Department captures the moment when the worker was viciously attacked by a group of teens. We showed you the video yesterday in the middle of the night. The report indicates that approximately 10 teens assaulted him after he stepped out of his work truck. Um, The victim, whose identity remains undisclosed for safety reasons, recounts being thrown to the ground and repeatedly kicked in the face. As a result of the attack, he required five stitches on his right eye and stitches on his leg with lingering issues in his right knee. Mm. He believes the assault was retaliation for reporting the teens to the police earlier in the week for shooting BB guns at people and vandalizing downtown stores. Vandalizing downtown stores as well. Kick turds. Yeah. The incident uh, sparked concern among local business owners and residents about safety in the area. Uh, the owner of Chocolates Coffee Shop, mm-hmm. located uh, near the scene of the attack, expressed shock and worry especially for her employees who leave late at night. A lot Mm -hmm. of people, Mm -hmm. I mean, my mom used to work on St. George Street and used to leave late at night. And, you know, she had to strategically park places so that she didn't have to go by a certain place because it was dangerous. Mm -hmm. Uh, St. Augustine police have identified the suspects involved in the assault, specific details regarding uh, detentions and plans to enhance downtown security remain pending. Uh, the victim, while hopeful for the apprehension of those responsible, well, they did. Well, they've, I guess they've identified. They haven't apprehended everybody mm-hmm. yet, but they've identified mm-hmm. everybody. Emphasizes the importance of holding them accountable to prevent similar incidents in the future. And they look like high school kids. Did we yeah. determine that they're high school kids? Do we know that? They right. look like, yeah, I don't they, they know. Look, they look like high school kids. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, definitely. You know, because I I just don't want, you know, oh, well, see, this is why we need that ordinance. Well, that would would not have stopped this situation. And I hear rumblings of that in the blog. I did, too. And and I just want to go, no, that's not how this one played out at all. Isolated incident. Idiots. 
Yeah. You know, they, they, these kids weren't in the bars. Right. So, True. There's now wow. a, there is now a group of people who will blame every bad incident that happens downtown on the nightlife ordinance, and you're just making <laughs> yourselves look weird. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, it's just you got to really look at the facts here. And uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's, this is terrible, and I agree. We probably should have more security at, in some form or fashion in downtown St. Augustine, especially at night. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, especially at night, focused around that St. George Street area. Yeah. Well, I mean, and this was on Cordova, but, I mean, the, the lighting in certain areas, like you were talking about where your mom walked and stuff like that, there were some really dark areas. Yeah. Um, and those need to be lit uh, properly and safe. And, um, you know, so the light, lighting there uh, definitely, definitely needs to... Uh, be looked at, and I think there's some, some ways to take care of it. Get your damn kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and parents, you should get a punishment, too, for this one. Yeah, well, yeah, holding parents accountable, that has really been a some, thing in some, the court system, I've noticed, even even on the uh, federal level. I'm yep. just seeing that more and more. Yeah, this this guy's got he's got doctor bills and stuff like that. There should be some yeah. financial restitution True. for that. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, just, you know. I'm a helicopter dad, and I'm proud of it. So. What do they say in the 90s? It's 10 o'clock p.m. Where are your children? Do you know where your we children are? We need to are. reloop that. Yeah. Apparently, we didn't learn. <laughs> yeah. 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 Guess what I do? Name them. <laughs> Life 360. Yeah. Oh, you have that? Oh, oh I don't know if I can do that. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. Of a lot of parents have that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know where, you know what? I know where my children are. That is true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> well, I don't know where gas prices are, but we're going to find out. Punk ass kids. Yeah, punk ass kids. Yeah. Well, we got them. That's true. Yeah, yeah we'll totally take credit for oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got them. Little, little sheriff. Yeah, man. <laughs> little sheriff. Oh, mess around. We earning that badge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how police work usually yeah. goes when you're a sheriff, is you call people punk ass kids and every name you can think of in the book. And. That's how investigations work in the police world. Well, and, and there was somebody somebody in the comments yesterday saying, oh, well, they shouldn't use social media to do investigative. No, it worked. Yeah, so it works. hush your pie hole and do your occupation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know who I'm <laughs> yeah. talking to. Yeah. True. <laughs> Everybody's, it's, it's the public square. It's where everybody is. Mm-hmm. So that's where you go to obtain information. That's just how it works today. Uh, all right. The Sitco at 1099 South Ponce. Their cash price three twenty one this morning. That's what they're reporting. The gate on Mizell Road is apparently at three thirty eight. The Sunoco at twenty one ninety nine North Ponce. They are uh, reporting at three thirty eight. Ashwin out there on the island, uh, A1A discount beverage three thirty nine. Circle K at forty five sixty four US one North three thirty nine. Uh, the Owens at South Ponce three thirty nine as well. Sunoco at 450 South Ponce, 339. It's all 339 down the list until we get to the shell at 2350 North Ponce. Then they are at 349 this morning. Wawa seemed reasonably priced out there by US1, out there on US1 this morning. We'll take reasonably. Yeah, I think in the 320s still. They're yeah, bringing their best. The C- Sitco was at 321, so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I just said. Yeah, I mean that's that's I, but the thing that well the thing with it was wild is the Sitco is at three twenty one, and like right beside it was at three fifty nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's going to the three fifty nine when there's three twenty one? You know, I mean it's just been bouncing all over. This is as wild as I've ever seen it. So, yeah, I was really hoping election year would help us out a little bit, but yeah. old Joey B really doesn't care. Yeah. He just really doesn't care about <gasps> what's the last time persuading. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think when he do knows. Th- when do you think I don't the think last he knows what a gas, gas pump is. He probably yeah. legitimately has not seen a gas pump in 25 years. Yeah, he's probably telling people to check his oil. On it. <laughs> Can you get the wipers too? <laughs> yeah, all right. Sir, I'm pumping my own gas over here. Well, f- mm. For some reason, it feels like we're hearing Joey B. <laughs> in there. Oh, Joey B. <laughs> struggling to live. <laughs> all right. He sounds like the Sith. What? I'm just clearing my throat. Like what it looks like. Getting ready for my Nora Jones, like y'all. Get out of here. Poor guy. Get that guy out of office. Come Poor on. guy. Jeez. This is just almost painful to watch now. It's okay. He thinks Except he... for when they give him Adderall and stuff and put him on stage. Yeah. Looks great, right? Yeah. Sponsored by well, Celsius, right? He gets Maybe? closer to being a normal speaking human being at that point. Old Joey. Come on, President Else. Literally <laughs> President anybody else. else. Yeah. He had two radio uh, uh, interviews yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
Uh, Chris Lucero will get you out of jail if you go to jail. Chris Lucero bail bonds. Afro Give him a, man's always running. Uh, what's that? I said Afro man's also running. Oh, is he really? Did he announce oh. that last night? Because he yeah. got high. <laughs> yeah, he said he slowed down his tour because he got high. Oh. Sorry, anyway, Chris Lucero. <laughs> <laughs> happy belated birthday, Chris Lucero. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, happy belated birthday, Chris. He's available for you 24-7 to get you out of jail. 904-822-BAIL, 904-822-2245. Live music coming up today and tonight as well. We got Jim Lamb at the Milltop Tavern at noon. Smoke and Joe Shower at Trade Winds at 1. The Brave Summit today at 3 at the Amphitheater. Mm-hmm. Mark Hart at Trade Winds at 5. Zaza Flamenca at Fusion 904 Eatery at 530. Doers, 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 doers. Doers. I always doers. get it wrong. They're just not on here enough. Well, you make it remember. fancier than what it actually is. Doer. Yeah, it, like it. it does sound like a fancy New yeah. York store, doesn't it? Yeah. Doers. Like when they say Target, they say Target. Target. Yeah. Trade Winds at 5 o'clock. Uh, oh, nope. Wrong. Old Coast Sales at 6 o'clock. <laughs> <to> say. <laughs> Zach Haywood at uh, Salt Life at 6. Sam Pacetti, Southern Vibes Tasting Room at 6.30. Argaya Dewey Vaya at Dog Rose at 7. Oh, we're talking to the Dog Rose people this afternoon. Yes, we, we are. Corny and Doug, yay! Fawn Kaiser at Taps at 7. And Brent Pella, Cafe 11 at 8. Brent should change his name and get a better singer name. Yeah. He's I a suggest comedian. people changing their names a lot. Yeah. His middle name's Aka. Literally anybody <laughs> else. What'd you say, Clay? I said he's a comedian. Oh, he's a comedian. Oh, yeah. oh well, there you go. That's a fine name for a comedian. Well, he should stand up for himself. <laughs> Catch with the dad <laughs> jokes this yeah. morning. Knee slapper there. <laughs> okay, Mike Davis. Notice who's laughing the hardest at the dad jokes. Mm-hmm. The dad who told them. <laughs> Oh, boy. Live music mic check comes to us from Griffin Services. Your home's comfort is their top priority at Griffin. They'll hook you up with the great work on your AC system, your plumbing, your electrical, and they do unique offerings like standby generators, water softeners. They do gas work. You can experience fast, friendly, and affordable service seven days a week. Give them a call, 904-500-2653, or visit griffinservice.com and see the Grifferents. Oh, it's a red Wednesday today. Police say he got on a plane using a photo of a girl's boarding pass. A photo of a girl's boarding pass. Where's this? Nervous. Now mm-hmm. he faces a felony charge. Why don't we charge the TSA people who let him yeah. through? Yeah, that's what happened. They're the, that's their job to see that stuff. What happened? I don't know. We'll talk about it as soon as I tell you about Fidus Roofing. You guys know I love a good discount, but what I like even more is making my money go as far as it can possibly go. The team of Fidus Roofing will get you the most roof for your money, period, in St. John's County. You won't have to worry about the storms. You won't have to worry about the critters. None of that stuff. All the damages that having a bad roof can do to your house, they will make sure you're in good shape. For a great roof, trust Fidus, 904-355-ROOF. They do pavers. Sorry, I'm going to And gutters. Yeah. Very good. Keep it up, Davey. We're going to make you sleep outside. <laughs> Very poor. Very poor. Yeah, I'm getting question marks on top of que- I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, weird Wednesday. Police say he got on a plane using a photo of a girl's boarding pass. Now he faces a felony charge. A Texas man, Wycliffe Yves Floruziard. Oh. That's not how you say it. <laughs> finds himself how we say it today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> finds himself in legal trouble after allegedly attempting to board a Delta Airlines flight from Salt Lake City to Austin by deceitfully using a fellow passenger's boarding pass photo. Oh, I get it. He took a Well, let's see how this. His plan was thwarted when the flight reached full capacity, leaving him without a seat. Wow, he got just unlucky on this Ugh. one. Federal prosecutors in Utah have charged Fluziard with a felony count of being a stowaway. That's a felony. (laughs) A stowaway. What's going on? On an aircraft, according to an affidavit filed by a police officer in federal district court, Fluziard managed to board the plane and even accessed a storage area for emergency equipment. What was he doing? That's actually kind of scary. With the assistance of a an atten- with the assistance of a flight attendant, who was he pretending to be? Mm-hmm. He then moved around the aircraft, initially claiming a seat in the 
restroom? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. I, I, I was thinking that meant like he tried to say that was his seat. Oh, no, no. no he, he was hiding. Yeah, yeah, he, he was, was, he hiding, was just hiding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and hoping, I guess, by the time he got out, there would be a seat for mm. him. Or that the plane would be off the ground and they could. He was kind of caught well. like a rat in a cage, just, though. Like I, mean, I was going to say, where are you going to go? The, yeah, you, right. You know, you're going to sit on someone's lap. What are you? What are you going to do here? <laughs> yeah, they're not going to. They're going to notice you in the jump seat. They're going to mm -hmm. notice you in the bathroom. Yeah. Where are you going to go? When the crew discovered Fluziard's unauthorized presence and his name failed to appear on any passenger records for the flight, the plane returned to the gate where law enforcement officers were waiting. I mean, yeah, that's the good thing to do. Mm -hmm. Surveillance footage from the boarding area revealed Flusiards uh, surreptitiously taking photos of passengers' uh, passengers' phones. So this is what I thought: they had their tickets on their phones, mm. and he was, you know, they had them up, and he would just take a picture of their phone screen, and that's how he with the ticket on it, and that's how it. he got through with the scan. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, it probably would have worked on like Frontier or something. <laughs> yeah, Frontier Spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the one where the door just fell off? Oh, I'm flying Spirit tomorrow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's that Spirit where the door fell off midair? I don't know about Spirit. I think it was just a 747. Oh, right. It may have been like one of the big dogs. Like I think it was. Delta. I think it was like United or Delta. I feel like I it was it. either Spirit or United. United yeah. just had a tire that fell off. I know that. And mm -hmm. then now the guy from Boeing has resigned because he's just like, I can't. I can't. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fifteen hours ago. Oh no no Delta had something. Yeah, I remember a couple of months ago, or months, or a month or so ago, somebody went True, public. True, that's it, Alaska Air. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Well, Alaska yeah, Air. That's, yeah. that's yeah. part of Delta. I totally though. forgot that. Yeah, that, yeah. Is, that is a part of Delta, though. Yeah. True, true. Alaska, Alaska is part of Delta. Didn't somebody from Boeing recently come out and say, I would never fly a Boeing airplane? Mm. That wow. can't be good for the stocks. Not good either. No. So, there you go. Don't try to stow away on a plane. They'll catch you. Unless the plane's empty, they won't catch you. Not a good thing to do. So if you guys are no. planning to stow away, maybe not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ron DeSantis, Governor DeSantis has signed a social media ban for minors. A lot of people love this. Uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has signed a bill into law that will impose one of uh, the nation's strictest social media bans for minors. Under the legislation, children under 14 will be prohibited from having social media accounts, while a 14 and 15 year old must require parental permission. The bill, which will take effect on January 1st, was slightly modified from an earlier proposal that DeSantis vetoed. The new law was championed by Paul Renner, that we know from this area. Oh, your guy. And aims to address concerns about the addictive nature of social media platforms and their potential to harm young users. The bill vetoed by DeSantis would have banned minors under 16 from popular social media platforms, but uh, compromise... A compromise, compromised language was reached with Renner to address the governor's concerns. Similar legislation been considered in other states, such as Arkansas, where a federal judge blocked a law requiring parental consent for minors to create social media accounts. <sighs> Very interesting, man. Hmm. <clears throat> I, you know, social yeah. media is not good for children. Yeah, it's not good for children, but it's a shame that... Uh... Um, the government has to intervene on some of right. this stuff. I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But what are they going to do? See, social media companies see, should do this themselves, but they're not going to do that because they want the, kids. See what happened with the other kids on Cordova. Yeah, we understand why the government has to intervene. You know? Yeah, true. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to. The bill passed with overwhelming support from both chambers with Democrats joining Republicans in favor of this. That's rare. DeSantis acknowledged potential First Amendment challenges, but expressed confidence in the law's constitutionality, citing his commitment to upholding the law and the Constitution. Yeah. The only I mean, we talked about it a little bit on, on Monday. The only time Blake ever got in trouble is because he opened a twi Twitter account without my permission. Remember? Right? Yeah. yeah. So and he was doing it so he could keep up with his, his, he really was into NASCAR at the time. He was doing it to keep up with his NASCAR guys. There was right. no ill intent or anything like that. But it happens that quick. And if his uncle hadn't said something about, oh, yeah, I saw Blake's Twitter account, I might not have known, even mm -hmm. though I check, check pretty regular on yeah. him. And uh, so. You know, it happens that quick. So yeah, yeah, it's just not a good 
place for kids to be, especially Mm-mm. if you're using that as your parenting tool, you know, instead of parenting, uh, and you're throwing your kids just really out to the wolves on social media because you just never know what's going to come up. I mean, you look at a kid's social media sometimes, you're just like, what? the hell is the algorithm showing you this is weird and creepy and dangerous i actually learned that too like i guess on sometimes on youtube like in the middle of a kid's program will be something super inappropriate so that's kind of like how some of these idiots mm-hmm. are hiding some mm-hmm. of this stuff that yeah. just blows me away i didn't know that happened yeah yeah it's sort of like remember in fight club when they all went to the movie theater remember and they they superimposed that you know what i'm talking about in yeah. the movie yeah it's kind of like that moment okay <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He like spliced a pornographic uh, yeah, part in, he, the, in, the, uh, in the movie theater. He was similarly in the movie, yeah. and, and it was kind of, he spliced it and put it in. He was working in the theater. Tyler Durden. And, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. That was part of the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's in, and the okay. kids were like, ah, in the movie theater. Because yeah. it was a kid's show, yeah. Okay. Anyway, I digress. But so what is this going to do? Limit kids' time that they're going to be using this these social platforms? I platform? guess you're going to have to get parental. you, you got to get parental uh, approval. What does that look like? It's going to be hard to monitor this, honestly. Yeah. 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 Um, a kids lot of, will just hold it up to their parents' face or something. And right. Like, true, true. Yeah. A lot of people are saying you should have to show proof of identification to be on social media. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, but that gets to the point of do you want these social media companies to mandatorily have your identification? Yeah. No, no. It know? puts it, 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 then it's an opportunity for other people to get to your information. So, yeah. I mean, so everything it's, can it's, be hacked. I yeah. mean, Zuckerberg's a smart guy. Zuckerberg's a smart guy. Yes, he yeah. is. What a champion for the people. I oh, mean, I mean, isn't he the one who started Threads? Uh, yes, he yeah. was. Yeah. yeah. So I tried mean, to find a positive platform for people to be powerful. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody uses it. <laughs> well, I put all my spin comment uh, quotes on. Do you put stuff on there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I don't. I archive like my quotes that I use on the bike, just so that I have the, like some sort of, you know. Oh, I need some positive quotes for today, and I'll just keep them. It's like a file for me. <laughs> <laughs> do you have post-it notes on your like not um, anymore cabinets? i have threads now so yeah, yeah, thank you yeah, yeah. okay did well, you use you used to have post-it notes everywhere on your oh, yeah gosh. on the mirror you can do this yes you can yeah. survive in the south <laughs> <laughs> all right st john's county groups aim to gauge the need for mental health and behavioral services here in St. John's County, investing in kids is a nonprofit organization supporting St. John's County public school students, teachers, and schools. They are apparently collaborating with community agencies to address mental health and behavioral needs through anonymous online surveys. Uh, partnering with organizations like St. Augustine Youth Services and Epic Behavioral Health Care, which we love both of those organizations, Inc. aims to gather data from youths aged, the youths. Youths, the yep. two youths. Oh, yeah age 10 through 17, and adults 18 and older. Uh, Kathy Newman is Inc.'s executive director. She emphasizes the importance of community input in shaping the community needs assessment, uh, which is scheduled for release in August. I guess that is the name of the survey. Mm. The survey results, along with focus groups and interviews, will provide insights for the report funded by the Consortium of... Is it Consortium or Consortium? Consortium. Consortium Mm -hmm. of Florida Education Foundations and Department of Education's initiative called Resiliency Through the Community. So the consortium is like a fraternity of all these different um, uh, foundations from all the different counties. And they sort of get everybody together and they do a think pair share moment on what's the best practices on raising money in different counties and like, you know, and how to really get into schools and make an impact as opposed to wasting everyone's time. So it really kind of keeps everybody efficient and in line. It's, a, it's an incredible organization. Okay. Newman encourages youth and families to participate, highlighting the survey's role in shaping the future of St. John's County. The ultimate goal is to leverage the assessment report to enhance community services and support the well-being of residents. Can we put something on there about you probably shouldn't beat up city workers in the middle of the night? Yeah, let's inspire kids. kids to be great again. Yeah, to <laughs> not be a piece of garbage. Yeah. That'd be nice. All right, Troy, how do you want to approach the comments? Um, I'm going to wonder, I'm going to go wondering about on this Wednesday, wildly work my way through the wish, wishful but wise comments. Too many W's. I feel like I was throwing walks at Wabbit. Yeah. Wow. wow. There's the original, Bobby, yeah. that would hurt me, man. Wow. Wow. But, uh, uh, oh, go ahead. 
<laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'll do that one in the comments. <laughs> You're all on our game Kenny, today. Kenny, Kenny had a really good one. Did, did I, I, I'm threw you off a little bit? Yeah, it threw me off. Typical Kenny. Good job, Kenny. Well, if you're thrown off by your home insurance, so you got to call BHF Insurance and Christy down there at BHF, Bates, Hewitt, and Floyd, uh, because they can help you with that. Christy will give you a free assessment of your current policies to make sure you're not paying for something you don't need. Uh, make sure you've got enough coverage. Sometimes people don't have enough coverage. Sometimes they have way too much. Get in there with Christy and let her figure it out for you. 904-794-5455, Bates, Hewitt, and Floyd. You can also find them at 165 South Park, Suite C. And of course, our great friends at BNS Signs, B and S Signs. Uh, they've been supplying St. Augustine and surrounding areas with high quality signs for years, since 1967, in fact, that are going to help you stand out. If your sign sucks, people think your business sucks. Change that. Mm -hmm. Get a great sign from BNS Signs, stand out, and bring more people in the door. It's oftentimes just that simple. And they do great signs. Any sign you can come up with, they can bring it to life. Even stickers. Even stickers. I've got stickers in my car that BNS signs made for the Florida Man okay. games. See? I still try to I've got to put them on my car. I picked up real estate signs from them yesterday. Oh, real estate so, signs. Yeah, yeah, they do those too. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's obviously. nice. Picked up, picked up 10 of them from yesterday. Thank you, guys. Yep. They are great. They're great. BNS signs. Visit them at bnssigns.com or call 904-824-3323. What you got, Troy? All right. Uh, Wawa was at 318. Costco was at 324. Uh, fun day with their tribe. Uh, I, I was only able to be there for about 10 or 15 minutes at Augie's. Uh, appreciate seeing all you guys. Great to meet you, buddy. Um, uh, Kenny Kenny actually was suggesting, actually, Bobby came up with, uh, hope to see these kids in some orange jumpsuits soon. Um, mm. But Kenny suggested uh, we give them tickets to the floor band, but I think they should volunteer and they think they're volunteering, and then we put them in the pit with our guys. With the alligators? Oh, the, the no, guys. No, get them with the noodle, uh, the noodle, and put them in the octagon. Yeah, I don't. And let no, just let our Florida men feed on them. Yeah. <laughs> I think they should come to my ninety-minute spin class, dehydrated. Oh wow! <laughs> I think that would be fun. I yeah, I don't. I think I don't want any association with them whatsoever. Yeah. They can do their own thing somewhere, and you know. No, I just like to see them get roughed up a little yeah. bit. So just a little off the kneecap. We know yeah. that's not going to happen. But we it, know. It'd yes. be fun to think about. <laughs> right and true. Yeah. All right. What do you got for Stoidum Stat? All right. Stoidum Stat. Uh, this is a very uplifting Stoidum Stat today. Okay. Usually I have some Debbie Downers, but this one's very uplifting. All right. Great. So uh, in 1998, All right. the FDA approves Viagra. Oh. <laughs> oh, very very uplifting. uplifting. Very yeah. uplifting. <laughs> All right, and it was it was Pfizer that came up with it. And the, the best part about this Stoidum stat, the chemist that worked on it, their names. Oh, boy. Peter okay. Dunn. All right. And Albert Wood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Peter and Wood. <laughs> they could have called it Peter Wood. Yeah. They could have called it the Peter Wood pill. That would have been the good. Peter Wood pill. The little oh, Peter Wood pill. But it was originally for, like, uh, high blood pressure and angina. Uh, um, don't confuse those words. No, uh, yeah, that's a little fluttering, fluttering I, in the chest I, is angina. I, I, yeah, I, I know where exactly where Rebecca's brain went. Um, <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> so, uh, but the the fact that that's their names, I thought was hilarious. That so, is hilarious. That is really good. That is really good. <laughs> there was several other ones on this day in history that mm. could have been used, but uh, you know, that's I, the one you went with. I went with the uplifting one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good, f good, good. Oh. That's Toyota Stat, brought to you by the most uplifting pizza place in town. That just has a different feeling to yeah. it after that. Right. Uh, yeah, go right. into St. Augie's Pizza. You'll we had a great mm. Cuban pie there yesterday. Yeah, uh, and just just wonderful people. Augie like took care of the whole tribe, and yeah. it was really good seeing everybody. Yeah, yeah so. looked like a lot of fun, man. Uh, all right, St. Augie's Pizza. You're gonna love it. Plugs, guys. Well, um, it's my weekend. I appreciate everybody, and I'll see you guys back next Wednesday. Is Have when fun. I'll be back. Have a great You'll time, You'll be man. back in studio on Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, man, got it. okay. Oh, we got Courtney and Doug Murr from uh, uh, Dog Rose Brewery coming in for the afternoon show. Very, very good. And, yes, it is true, Diane Von Furstenberg released her, uh, her brand for Target 
yesterday. So run, don't walk, ladies. Go out there. I got some new bath towels. You guys will be loving it. This is an iconic moment, guys. So, yeah. <laughs> it is. Diane von Furstenberg is legendary. I don't know who she is. Yeah. She <laughs> invented the little wrap dress. So if you ever feel swollen or bumpy and lumpy, you get that little wrap dress. You just wrap that up, baby, and throw some boots. You look great. Yeah. Okay. So go get it. All right. We normally can't afford that stuff. It's super expensive for, like, real legit stuff. So this Target brand gives us all opportunity to be able to have a little piece of history with Diane von Furstenberg. So this is like the Walmart version of Reebok, right? Where True. It's a little bit. Yes, where it's probably made in China, but yeah. it's uh, but still, you get to have that DVF experience. Okay, there you go. Not really the same. Though. Ladies, listen to me in the comments. You're going to be sitting there later on the toilet and be like, "Wow, they really do like this stuff." Yes, yes, yes. Clay, what you got? I mean, how can I top that? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be tough. That's yeah. what it's going to be tough. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great rest of your day. Davey and I will see you at (laughs) 3. Bye-bye.